Welcome to Agents of Screen, the first and only place to come to for movie reviews live at the cinema. I'm your boy Miles and we're here to watch Tomb Raider. Last time, I wore a dashiki in celebration for the release of Black Panther. This time, my outfit was inspired by Lara Croft and I actually went to buy a cute little tank top and pum pum shorts. Let me just go grab it quickly. Bruh. No, but I bought it. You told me it was cool. No, but I don't have a receipt. How am I gonna get the money back for this? You know what? Bundus, I'm 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 out. Welcome to Agents of Screen, the first and only place for movie reviews live at the cinema. Since our last video, we've jumped out of Wakanda and now we're about to head straight into Wakanda. Uh, my name's Eddie, but you can call me Ed. Let's get straight into the film. All right, so we're live at the cinema. Before we go any further, there will be spoilers from this point onwards. So if you haven't seen the film. Right, so we've just come out of Tomb Raider. As someone who's played the game before, I enjoyed it, but let's get everyone else's opinions. You know, it was decent, it was decent. I, I didn't expect it to be like mind blowing, but um, better than the Angelo, Angelo G, yeah. Better than the Angelina Jolie one by far. Okay, so uh, so this was a reboot of the last film. So you reckon this film was better than their first attempt at a Tomb Raider movie? One hundred percent. It felt more like the game, which. You actually got the film though. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't worry about that. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> no, this felt more like the more like the film was based on the game rather than them using the name Tomb Raider and kind of doing whatever they want. Right. I think if you have played the game. You enjoy the film more. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I mean, like, I was watching like, uh, like a, an extension of the game kind of thing. Like, a, obviously, yeah. I mean, there were little throwbacks to the game, yeah. even the little sound effects, even her yeah, little yeah, noises. Yeah, where she yeah. Had, yeah. Ah! Exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Can you make the noise again, Ed? <laughs> 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 no, you know those little noises where she jumps and she goes. <laughs> yeah, there's one bit where she dropped on the floor and she just started making all these orgasmic sounds and shit. But don't you remember that? But you know what? I remember when the game first came out, I remember like people when the previews were out and reviewing it, they were saying like, oh, like why is she making so much noise? And like, but you'd be like, yeah, if you're. If you were that's bad, not that do. bad. Like, you're, it's not they're gonna be quiet, like, oh, I've been impaled in my stomach. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna be quiet while I slowly get this out. Yeah, there were a lot of things in this film that um, literally is a direct throwback to the game. Some scenes were, I think, recreated, I think, yeah, yeah. for this film. Like the airplane scene. The plane, yeah, the yeah airplane, that yeah. scene, yeah. The that that, that well was actually a sick the scene. The there are a few callbacks to the items as well. Her pickaxe, obviously the bow. Jesus! <laughs> Bro, when I saw that bow, I was just like, boy, brings back memories. So have you back. played the game? Yeah, 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 I played one and I've gone through a bit of two. I definitely want to complete two if they plan to make another one, which I hope this does at least good enough for them to make a second one, because I thought it did. It was quite a decently done film. It was decently done. Okay, so it wasn't amazing. Like they, they obviously changed around quite a few things from the, from the game compared to and then put it into a film. I mean, you can't really transition the whole game into a film. I think if they yeah. try to make everything like the way they did, like all the special effects, like obviously like the end part of the film was when, in the game was when she actually was real. Like she was actually like a real person. Yeah. And then they, there's no way they could have transitioned that into the film and made it actually look good. I mean, the there's a lot of video game movies that have come about before. There's what is known as the video game curse. How do you guys feel that this film, do you think it withstood the video game curse? 100%. Um, like off the top of my head, that would be top five video game movie. Like, I mean... Wait, wait. You're going mad. I'm not going too much, but what, what's like the best ones? What's the best ones that have come out? The best video games? Right. Just so off the top of my head, Mortal Kombat would be Mortal up there. Mortal Kombat's definitely one of them. Um, 
Max Payne is yeah, Max, Max Payne, Payne is pretty definitely pretty up there. Certain parts of Max Payne. Hitman. Yeah. 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 Hitman. Like Max Payne. Yeah. It was, yeah, yeah but that's just past. me. That's me. They followed yeah. the story to an extent in Max Payne. Mm. Yeah, if, like, quite so is that important for a, for a film a transition from a film? I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna do like, a story based off of a game, you should at least try to make it based off of the story. Like, they, yeah. they're obviously yeah, yeah. in terms of the film, they're all obviously gonna make certain changes because they're never yeah, gonna copy it. Make right? it exactly That's fine. Same, but yeah. as long as the essence of the film of the game is in the film, then it's fine. Um, and I think they did that well with this. It felt very much like the game. Yeah. So I mean, so far we've had pretty good words on the film i mean is there anyone who would say anything differently about this film is there well what i'd like to say is in the game when she has her first kill like you can see like the pain she's like she like she's never killed someone before yeah yeah and, and then, then this film, and then funny enough somehow yeah. she she just kills exactly. people straight away exactly. just after like, the first kill oh the first kill so emotional but then the second is just even the first easy. kill it's like she it's like yeah she was struggling it's like oh yeah no, that bit was sick. but oh, then right. she goes rambo on the camp yeah, but like, she's like, she's like, dang, dang, she's female like, rambo what are you saying but with the first kill like, i know you're saying like in the game like they make it like this whole like kind of emotional thing for her because the first time she's done it after in the game after that first kill you don't have to go and kill no one else like there's no the film is gonna progress different and i feel like they still showed that it was not easy for her to do but then obviously you know circumstances she's not gonna just be like oh well you know she, she saw flipping people get killed in front of her like cold-blooded nothing so she's not gonna then be like oh i better not kill no one else i need to do what i need to do kind of thing so also, i yeah. take like, note as well that she was actually shooting people in the shoulders she wasn't technically killing everybody you know yeah, but they never showed oh. them dead, but you would assume Man. they are. Well, so. so what? They're supposed to be instantly dead from shoulder shots. No, I'm <laughs> I'm like that's a, that's a bit mad. Like that's that's impressive. No, I'm not. They did show it was hard for her to make that first kill, yeah, yeah. but given the circumstances, you know, she did what she had to do. Yeah, yeah. I would say. At the beginning, one thing I was was kind of like, why they not why are they doing this? But I guess they kind of had to do like something with the whole like her being like a delivery or whatever the hell it was she was doing. Like, like I know, obviously they can't do. Obviously they can't do the exact way the beginning of the game was, but it was a bit mad because she was just. I don't know what she was doing. She was just like, a, think about it. They have to create context, don't they? So like, it, how the game began is she's just on the boat. So with this, they kind of have to go. Okay, how did she get on the boat? Why is she on the boat? That sort of thing. So I can understand that. So Lara Croft is when we're playing the game, but like. In the film, like there may be people that don't know who Lara Croft is. While we're talking about plot holes, there were three plot holes for me. Three. Three plot holes for you. The, the first lot, one, sure. the first one. Obviously, she sold her medallion or whatever it was to oh, get yeah, money yeah, yeah, to get the boat. Yeah, oh, they yeah, cut yeah, to yeah. the end of the movie. Someone got a helicopter to come to the island. Why not take the money to hire a helicopter to go to the I'll island, tell, which was apparently impossible to get to? I'll tell but, you why. But why? Because no, I think no, I'll tell you why. Obviously, because from what I remember, when the dad was when the dad had the thing, it's not even the cost. No, when the dad was saying that um, what was the guy Lou whatever yeah, was Lou the whatever. only person that was willing to go there because people obviously right. knew about this place yeah, and what yeah, happened yeah. and oh, it's a matter of yeah. no one wanted to go there like because it's treacherous or whatever and so on. Yeah. So I guess that could be one. Reason. Okay, that's a possible reason. The second one. Um, the villain, he was this constant theme throughout the film. He was saying, oh, he had no one to talk to, but let, the island was full of people. people to talk to. Yeah. That I could think, speak English as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, that, yeah. <laughs> that, that, like, maybe he meant like, worth conversation, like, I don't know. Like, what? No, I, I'm, 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 I mean, he said it about five times, to be fair. Like, hired muscle, obviously, they're not going to chat in it. Like, no, hired muscle are just waste. I know about sports. Like what? Sports from seven years ago. No, exactly. Yeah, we're talking about sports from seven years ago. No, but what I'm saying, not, not to bring up, not to bring up Arrow over and over, but when Thingy's on the island on his own, you could understand why man will go crazy because right. he's on his own. But you're, you got a point because if you've got man to chill with and have a beer with, or whatever, kill people with, <laughs> then yeah, you're cool. You're cool. These people, someone worth yeah. talking to. Like obviously, he was he was chatting to the dad before, innit? Because the dad was there. Like, hired muscle don't care. They're literally, I, I, I don't know, I said, I don't know. I'm just saying, but hired muscle, he's not gonna be like, oh, I yeah, guess man. he made a big point of it about five times. He, he did say, I've got no one to talk to. He said it about five times. Yeah, yeah. 
I guess he point doesn't really stand. Like that, he seems that. like a very intelligent person, obviously, because he was deciphering the book of what his dad was saying. So he probably thought, in a sense, that he had no one to talk to, no one on his intellectual okay. capacity. I'm, I'm trying to at least <laughs> well, to break away guys, some of the plot hole. Like, obviously, it is done what he said, but I'm just trying to explain it to some extent to ease it down. Yeah, that's, that's no problem. problem. So plot hole number three. The third one, it may not be a plot hole. It might be just like a, a reach. Um, I thought that the guy that she met, the sailor, for someone that she met just like a couple okay, days, yeah, yeah, he was, I know, I know what you're going to say, I know what you're going to say, like considering he doesn't, yeah, I'm not leaving her, uh, I was like, you know what, no, no, he's got a point, he's got a point, because there's one bit where he goes, oh, you know, I'm going to do something, and hits the dude, and she tells him to run, she's not your girl, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't live in the same house with her, you, let, you just met her, Somehow you're risking your life for this thing. You know what? Wow. I'm not only but they do but have, enough, but there wasn't enough bonding time. The only like, thing, yeah, there wasn't the enough bonding time. The only thing I would say again, I don't know. No, I'm not. No, I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to say what might, what I saw, where, why it might be. Maybe he thought, wow, we've got this connection because both, uh, both no, left, because both their dads, yeah. Uh, yeah, we went there at the yeah. same time. They just happened to be at the same place. So then maybe they should have highlighted that a bit more. Killed by yeah, the yeah, same yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm just, I don't know. I'm I mean, just, I don't, that could be his. That could, that could be his motive. That, that could be his motive. I think he should have, because that guy said, oh, let's go, and he's like, no, no, I'm not going anywhere without Lara. Maybe they could have made some sort of to say, I mean, all right, fair enough. But yeah, it didn't even seem like Laura was really, really interested in in him too tough. No, like, no, it was, it seemed like it was more one way than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what, 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 she got to the island. Yeah, yeah. she don't, she don't oh, That's one reason, not for him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, but it could also be a point that she risked her life. She came back to this camp to like rescue them. So they yeah, maybe yeah. thought, okay, like, yeah. oh, she put a life on the line for us. Why can't we? So she, well, yeah. came for, she came for the book. She yeah, didn't but they don't. <laughs> I mean, her objective was there. Her objective happened to be where they were, you yeah. could argue. Because I'm guessing this goes into the character of Lara herself, how good she was as in as a protagonist or whatever. I'm saying, obviously, you would have to talk about the character, like how good of a character she was in this movie. Yeah. I think the acting was good. Yeah. She, oh, was, yeah, she was a good Lara Croft. Yeah. Voice was on point. It was a 100% on point. Uh, no. A little bit on point. She had a good six pack. Like. Uh, yeah, mate, the packs were like... The abs in the start were like... Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, she had, she had the Lara Croft abs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she had... She had, had Lara Croft abs, but not... So she had Lara, Lara Croft body. Yeah, even the 2013 uh, game had a bit more package uh, yeah, than that. Uh, like, kind of hard, no, no, but I was <laughs> saying, I was expecting like, uh, what's it called, Angelina Jolie package. Oh, no, but Jolie but that, wasn't, package. that wasn't what how they built Angelina Jolie oh, yeah, PS1 yeah. era yeah. Tomb Raider. So I mean, it was a whole different era of Tomb Raider. One was more unrealistic than the other. I guess when we watched the Angelina Jolie Tomb Raider, I don't know if anyone can remember when she outright punched a shark. With no water resistance. With no water. <laughs> I watched the, I watched both of them the last one in the last two days. Oh. And they're trash. Oh. Uh, graphics are no, poor. You have to understand it's like, a don't, like, oh. on, on, a, on, a, on a scale I'd say there was always more action in those two films than I'd say this film. I feel like it lacked a little bit of action, maybe things were moving a bit too fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but there is good character progression in the yeah. sense of how she's young. She's yeah. this her first adventure. Yeah, she's yeah, yeah, she's yeah. learning how to go through things yeah. that she's never dealt with before. Okay, so, so in a sense, I could see where the second film could be a lot better than this film. Bit yeah. more I, I, I found right. there was bits I don't know, I fell asleep twice. Oh, in, ten, this, in this film, ten seconds. But yeah, in this film. But the first, it, it, it got, I got, I got kind of, it didn't hold me enough, and that's yeah. all it was. Yeah, yeah. but I think, the, I think the first and third act. I think the third act is the strongest act, because to be fair, in the middle, I was kind of getting a bit. I, I don't really care, but then I think it picked up at the end. I give it that. Oh yeah. Um, I, thought, I thought that the film left a lot of things unexplained for my money. For example. Uh, like I felt at the end when they were trying to explain like the whole dynamic in the company and like the traitor, it was like rushed like in the last like yeah, kind of minutes. Yeah, they tried to like yeah, say yeah, this happened, that happened, happened, this happened. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, one of the yeah. things. But I like the fact that they made it into a, well, they thought it was a superstitious thing. Yeah. Oh, you know, this okay, thing. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. And, 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 the, and you know what's sick about that is because that is how like over time these stories get over-exaggerated. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
that oh it's gonna destroy the whole world yeah, yeah. but when you think about it it is a disease yeah it's a yeah, disease yeah, yeah. Was, and it think, could potentially yeah, technically that yeah, right, but yeah. not how we not thought. to that gravity yeah. yeah i don't think it was explained enough like how why the disease turned them into zombies it was just like, oh, they turned them into yeah. zombies and it's like... Did they even explain what the name of the disease was? No. No, it no I mean, even knew. It's been in it. So. I mean, even if they said the name, we wouldn't know it anyway. STDs yeah. or something, it's not going to be... There's no name for it. Like, no, but in fairness, I think they did explain slightly they said she was immune from it, but yeah, she yeah, carried she it. Yeah, 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 she, she was a she carrier. Was, and and that's why someone, yeah. it would instantly yeah. pass. So, yeah. yeah. So, I, I, to be honest, that was yeah. one of the, I liked the way they did that explanation. Yeah. Oh, that was, I was like, that was oh, good. snap, they're going to open this up. Because I, I, yeah. I, I was expecting the whole mystical yeah. shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they went the whole, I, okay, no. She was kind of looking around, I was like, wait, something ain't right. Like, uh, She don't look evil in none of these pictures. Like, the stuff you wrote. She just That's looks normal. Her print, but she's very like perceptive about yeah. things around her, and, like that. and I think they should have probably put more of that in the film. The pace of the film in some some places, yeah, like sometimes. where I felt like it jumped for me, um, after she met her dad in the cave, or whatever, and they were chatting, and she got the bow and arrow, and she's like, ah, oh. and it was just at the camp. I was like, oh. yeah. I thought it might have been. She like, even travelled nowhere. Yeah, I thought it might have nothing. I thought Bro, she was so kind of far from that. Yeah. Yeah. I thought they would have the at least like, showed her a little like, bit of traversing or something. You know how to in get the, there. Like. In the game, you can like walk. That's that <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's it, because that's what they should have done. You know, they should have got near a campfire, <laughs> and then you just see X, Y, or whatever. The campfire thing, man. I thought when when she was in the cave, I was like, six. She's gonna go there and like, and you. I mean, I think there were a lot of throwbacks to the game as it was <laughs> no, so in terms of character progression, uh, we spoke about how we saw Lara from the beginning training, doing her kickboxing, uh, to doing her Uber Eats or delivery deliveries, whatever she was doing. Um, last time we spoke about Killmonger, uh, villain in Black Panther, and how. Uh, no, I'm just saying. Just yeah, we. I mean, <laughs> we spoke about how he was a relatable character. Um, does anyone feel they can relate to this? Film's villain. I mean, just just flat out. No, there's not. Well, uh, Let's just be real, but it. it's it's not. I mean, it's just a standard villain. Isn't it? I mean, first of all, we'll cover his story. He was doing what he had to do because he just wanted to go home to no, see his family. No, that's why I said it's retarded because he could have easily just said, "I found a tomb, guys. Just come, come, come down and and do it. Like, you know, come get a tomb." Okay, we're gonna land. Nah, but okay, but I'm expecting, but maybe from what he did, if they were expecting them to take the whole thing and he's gone to the helicopter and they're like, wait, the guys in the helicopter were just like, uh, Trinity, this guy got. They did the exact same wait, thing. Plot, plot hole, plot hole, plot hole. Um, plot hole. This guy could just be like, uh, he hasn't got anything, like, what's he doing? Yeah, but it don't matter because you see what those people did. You see, the, you see those Asian people that they came with and, and figured Which they had one? a bow and arrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> figured out a bow and arrow and figured out a gun. What's the problem? You have an army. You could have easily just went. Maybe he did try already. I don't know. Just to, just to extend that as well, like seven years, all like the amount of food that has to come back and forth from the island as well. Surely they could have just like taken over the helicopter. Yeah. I don't think they had run. any intentions to hijack the helicopter. No, but I'm saying if he's so desperate to get to his family, they, they just say. Having said that, I'll tell you why. Maybe actually. Trinity's everywhere. Okay, yeah, so he could have jacked the helicopter, gone home, but they would have just murdered him. Yeah. Okay. Once he gets back okay, to his cool. family. Okay, cool. And now I've got a, a, a figgy for that. Okay. Even if they, let's say for instance, Lara did the exact same thing, they could have murdered or everything Lara has. No, I don't know who Lara is. Then how? Murked her for what? what? The girl knows. The woman yeah. that he, she signed the thing for. What are you talking about? What, so they, what, no, but what, what, what are they going to do? What? Trinity going to come to her manor and be like, later. She's going to come to her manor, blow up her house. I'm saying they can hurt her, innit? They can if they want to. If that is the case, I mean, the film ended where you guys are talking about anyway. So we don't know in the sequel, maybe that is something that she will go about doing. Just yeah, blowing yeah, up yeah. her manor. Spoilers for the game. If you play the second one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. When they were when they're in the tomb as well, when she was fighting the villain at the end, she could have escaped and just kicked the ladder, but she chose to like yeah, she kicked the ladder. You know, yeah, she yeah, kicked yeah. the ladder she and then actually. decided to fight him. Yeah. You know, I thought that was a bit weird. She could she had, if he had if she, well, I'm assuming if he had, if she had gone over the ladder, he could have easily just went like that. No, but he was he was ahead. He was ahead, so oh, let, yeah, she let, in front let him get like half through the ladder, then kick the ladder. Like, like what else was the punch well, and is in that same fight? Whack. 
when she was about to kick him off the ledge. That, that, that kick, kick was, shit. What was super whack. Who would do a side kick? I thought it she was, was going to kick him in his super chest. Whack. She should have given I, him I thought she was going to do a, this <laughs> is <laughs> Croft. <laughs> <laughs> But, no, I feel like the directors, work. whatever, were thinking, oh, you know, we can't do that kick because it's going to be too bait. But they should have done it. Should have done it. We're kicking the chin. It was just dumb. It was, it was good form. form. I mean, she is a ki- she is a kickboxer. Yeah. Also, there's another plot hole as well, though. Um, when the floor fell out, yeah, how did they get to the other side? The sides were still. I guess the sides were still. There out. wasn't that much side left, though. Let's be real. There wasn't much. There was enough side for them to walk. If you go single file. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you know what? Side there's side there's enough side for the side. Yeah, yeah. Enough side to the walk, but she was actually running yeah, she to come back. Running. That was actually a bit yeah, mad. But they didn't show that bit. I mean, she's not exactly hopping yeah, on it. Right. She's, she's not exactly going to be going like tiptoeing when she has to catch up to man before he goes up to the thing. So yeah, obviously, legs, so she was right literally right. going Terminator. So well, to catch yeah, up he to. was pretty slow. He got shot in his leg. We can assume that. She was careful where she needed That's to be like careful. Why, why and she's agile. Still surviving, like that whole towel section, like surely he would have fallen down. If you're limping, the chances of you actually going through, like, because the towels are there and you have to go across that and you're limping as well on top of that. You can jump. If there's a gap, like, he's not jumping. Do you actually like, run the numbers <laughs> of the possibility of him actually surviving that situation? If someone can run the numbers. <laughs> Like, that's yeah, actually bad. It. When you go past that checkpoint, maybe they come back. So. <laughs> <laughs> so whilst the film was based on the game, uh, was it? Yeah. so whilst the film was based on the game, there were a few elements I think where they they added their own twist to it. Um, it's safe to say that the sequel may be based on the second game, but yeah. probably will have its own twist to it as well. Does anyone know? Well, does anyone think they know where they're going to go with the, well, the sequel? Ending, the ending was sick because she went, I'll take two of these. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Nah, no, they will, they will. The whole, no, but that was a throwback to oh, the God. original Tomb Raider. Yeah, the original Tomb Raider, yeah. Again, it's just dumb. Like, I know you have them guns, in it. No, like, I think it was... It, just, does. it wasn't... Uh, it was... No, it's tongue-in-cheek, in it? It wasn't actually... Sh- I think we is all it, know she has two guns. Is it homage? I think it was homage, be, it being the very last scene of the film, it was just kind of, you know, yeah, but it was, I, I a just, throwback. I think what she probably should have done was look at the guns and went smiled or something and leave it at that. Yeah. I'll take two. Wow. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but that's, it's, where, that's, that's where the next one's going to go. The next one is going to go. Yeah, so no, the next question. one, the next one, the, the, the Trinity thing in from the game, the second game of the reboot, Trinity is, no, it's not, it's not. Not ruin it, but Trinity is heavily like involved in the game, so I'm assuming that's what they're going to use with the whole Trinity thing. Yeah. Um, I would say some I other know, stuff, but it's spoilers for the game. Enough for the Trinity thing. I don't think they're, not, they're, not, they're, they're the not overarching. Like, they yeah. Really explain how deadly these guys are per se. But well, I think that might be something they can touch on in the sequel because yeah, I think they they were concentrating on the threat basically. I just feel okay. Yeah. Trinity's all over the place. All right. And I'm also glad that they did the, that she completed the game without using guns, just burn out of sick. Which is, I have to say, which is what I done. That's the way she did. I did that. Did anyone here use guns when they played the game? I did. <laughs> so Lara's main goal was to find her dad. Um, that was, I feel, was the centerpiece of the film. That was the whole point of what she wanted to do. She wanted to find her dad. How does everyone feel about the portrayal of the relationship that she had with her dad was that I wasn't too thrilled because um, it's not it's non-existent pretty much in the game. Uh, Do we think it was done well? Yeah, it was yeah. alright. It was just I just I know I guess for the film you need to have that emotional attachment whatever character, but they could have done it in another way. Yeah, but I think to be fair though, <clears throat> it doesn't have to be exactly like the game because that's why I was saying that sometimes it's, it's yeah like sometimes it's. When they people go, oh, well, you know, it's not like the comic or it's not like this. Like sometimes it's good if it's not like yeah, what you because exactly. it's like because it, sometimes you get like a curveball, exactly what you played. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It, then you might as well just stay home because you already I mean, know what's going The film kind of stood out on its own. It yeah. took some elements. Yeah, yeah. Them, I think overall. I think the only, I think the only issue was is that I think for somebody that hasn't seen their dad for seven years and assumed we're dead, and then when you finally meet him, oh, dad, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm alright still. <laughs> There was no like, oh my god, you're alive. 
Yeah. Yeah. Was there even any emotional music? I can't actually remember, bro. Not really, no. <laughs> it feels kind of... It turn felt around bad. while he's doing the rope. <laughs> and then that was it. Yeah. The yeah. But there was actually emotional attachment was when he was literally dying. And he was... Yeah. That was the only time there was emotional attachment. Because she's like, oh shit, I'm never going to see him again. Mm -hmm. And then she wanted to touch him. It was like, well, you could have done all this shit before. It's too late, fam. Man's dying, isn't it? So... <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just, no, I just think, I just think the initial, um, you know, the initial meeting, I think could have been a bit more, you know, emotional or whatever. But mm. I mean, I guess it depends on how they left, um, how they left it when they, because at the same time she was angry with him as well, all that stuff. She was angry with him. She left it. He left her behind. Yeah, but like and I she said, doesn't know why. You still have that. You'll still have that. That emotion will still kick in because someone's told you someone's been dead for like seven years, constantly telling you, oh, get over it, he's dead, he's dead, get over it, he's dead. And then you see it and you're like, oh, her dad. Yeah, I just thought that's <laughs> would have been a bit better. You know. yeah. Right, following our discussion onto the scores, I think we'll start right to left. Right. Yeah, Ben? I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. I feel it could have been better. The first half, I thought was good. It was promising, but obviously, you know. Six out of ten. Six out of ten. Okay, okay. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I think. That is a mad low score. I think. Right? <laughs> no, not even that. I think if I didn't play the game, it would maybe be a five. But because I played the game, I think I'll give it a six. Just because, if I didn't play the game then, but I just think it, it, it had some nice touches from the game that went transitioned yeah. into. 100%, 100%. Yeah. Daryl. <laughs> Four. <laughs> no, 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 that's the thing. I'm not, I, I'm not be, I won't be unreasonable. I thought I would give it lower than everyone here. Okay. <laughs> These two. <laughs> no, and I this is coming from fans of the series yeah, of the yeah, game yeah. as I well. Think, I think for me, like I said, there were some touches. I just felt the villain was bland. I felt um, Tomb Raider, well, Lara herself, I have no problems with her. She was a good character, good, you know, development and so on and so forth. But I just think the film itself, I just don't feel like I want to watch it again or, oh, let's go watch Tomb Raider on ITV. Nah, I'm cool. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So I would give it a 6.5. A 6.5? Yeah. James? Yeah, I'd give it a 6. Fair score. Wait, hold on a second, hold on. <laughs> I said, I said I wasn't a fan of this film. This guy's like, oh, no, it's all right. And you give it lower than me. And Wait. I had more wins into the film than <laughs> What do you think could be done to make this a uh, better film? I think the, the villain definitely kind of ruined it for me personally. I think he was a very basic type of villain. Um, some of the action scenes were quite good in the film. Um, I felt like the beginning, I, I get it because obviously they're trying to introduce Lara into it, but I felt like the beginning was very unnecessary. Um, some of it was quite dragged on, quite a bit slow. Um, got better in the end, it was quite interesting. I did like Lara Croft, she was very good. Um, the person who played her, she was very good at doing it. Her voice acting was on point. The way that she was very perceptive and picking up everything, solving the puzzles, exactly like Lara Croft in the game. I thought she did a very good job. So as such, six out of ten. But I wouldn't rate it like anything higher than that. Personally. Okay, it's fair. It's fair comments. Um, for me, watching both the previous films recently, so you've just come out of watching one and two. One and two, and I gave that, as I said before, I've given that um, for both those films three. <laughs> Meaning, no, 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 that's 1.5 each. That's a joint oh, wow. score of three. Yeah, for both wow. those. Films. I don't know if scores work like that. I know, but still, so in my eyes. Do you think watching those two has skewed your perception um, of this one? A bit? No. Um, as I said, for the action wise, uh, I felt, I think what it is with this Lara Croft is it feels a, bit, a lot more realistic than the previous two. The previous two just feel like, it does feel like a game. Everything feels like a game, feels like. Fair, but it, but no, no, but that, that was, yeah, it was a different time. But at the same time, that's how it feels in those old films. Watching this film, yeah, they've, they've, they've improved in certain areas. They lacked in a lot. For me, 
I, I'm gonna give it a five, maybe. A five. Yeah, I, I, listen, listen, any film that puts me fall, that makes me fall asleep twice, there's an issue. So, <laughs> yeah, five, man. And I'm being, as I, as I said, it, uh, if I be honest, Laura Croft was good. I think she's a good. I think she's very good actor. Shouts to Alicia. She, she, Ali, yeah, Alicia. Yeah, we need to. Her real name, Alicia. We, Alicia Vikander. Yeah, Vikander. <laughs> she did a very good job. Um, she, for me, she held that film together. Without her, that film would be even worse. So yeah. for me, at 5.5, I'm being honest. 5.5. As far as I'm going. That's it. You've just upped your score to 5.5. 5.5, man. I'm giving it that. That's all I can say. Purely because of Alicia, you've just upped it half a point. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, um, Aaron, now I know you're a big fan of the Tomb Raider series. So in terms of your score, what what would you like to give this film? I would give that, I would give that a 6.5. I, th I think that's a fair score. Like I said, it wasn't terrible by any means. I've seen uh, much worse films. Um, and it wasn't great, but it's watchable. It's watchable. Yeah, it's watchable. Um, I think obviously, <laughs> playing the game, I probably enjoyed the film more. Um, I don't know if I would give it the same score if I hadn't played the game. I don't know how I'd feel about it. I kind of, I just kind of like, okay, it was decent. But um, but yeah, it's a decent film. Six point five, I think. Okay, that's fair. Uh, Miles, um, voice of reason. Just to <laughs> just to kind of piggyback off of his point about him playing the games. I haven't played the games myself. Okay. So, but I think I was affected by how good the previous film I saw was, which the last film I thought was was Black Panther. So. Um, so <laughs> what, what I would say the bonus is that the actress was really good Alicia Vikander but I thought there were a lot of plot holes I thought the villain was trash I thought that every joke that was told in the film wasn't funny I thought that the ending of the film didn't make me want to be interested in to see another one so my score I would give it a 5 5 yeah but for myself, as I said, I'm a fan of the series. I've played all the games. Um, just to, as I say, piggyback on what a couple of other people have said, I feel like the film is a lot more enjoyable if you have played the games. Um, that being said, there are some weak moments of the film. I can't relate to the villain. I'm sorry, can't relate to the villain. However, I have seen worse films. I've seen a lot worse films than I've seen. Uh, the, sorry, then Tomb Raider. So my score, I want to give it a seven. I think I'll give it a seven. I think I'll give it a seven. Uh, okay. Fascinating. Seven's like amplified. Some men are flabbergasted, but yeah, I am one of them. Very much. No, it's uh, that's it. That's your score. That's that's fair enough. Okay. All right, so that's been our review slash discussion. This has been Agents of Screen. Thank you for watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who done the Hunger Game noise? <laughs> so that gives us an average score of six. I personally enjoyed the film as a fan of the game, as I mentioned earlier. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, please leave a comment. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know why. You can check us out on Instagram and Twitter at Agents of Screen. We'll leave links in the description. So don't forget to leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Until next time. Uh, I forgot the words. <laughs>